Hello, this is Spirit Babies, What They Want You to Know, Part 3. And today I'm briefly going to talk about loss uh, when it comes to your spirit babies. Loss in terms of miscarriage, stillborn, maybe even a young baby dying. Um, and then abortion is in there as well. Um, abortion can be tricky because people think that is a loss of of choice people are making the choice to lose their babies but it's also much heavier with guilt and regret um, and so it is a loss in in a way even if you are choosing it and um, I just want to briefly say the reading I did called conscious abortion is one of the most paradigm shifting ones I have ever done and it's got nothing to do with pro-choice or pro-life. It's got absolutely nothing to do with that. Um, it has to do with pro-you, pro-you. And uh, just very briefly, because I do, I do cover this extensively in the video Conscious Abortion, um, even when you choose to have an abortion, your baby has made this choice with you. They know that this is a possibility, maybe even a probability. And sometimes they just need to come in briefly, just as a presence, to clear any karma or um, help you rearrange some things in your life. So that's all I'm going to say about that. If you want more information, look at conscious abortion. But loss in any instance, if it is miscarriage, stillborn, a young baby, a young child, um, this is all... An agreement. It's all agreements. The The baby has agreed to come in for a short period of time to do whatever it needs to do for its soul's growth and to help you with your soul growth. Um, it's tricky because you know you think it's a bad thing and it hurts and it sucks and why does it have to be like this? But with any loss is a heart opener. It's a catalyst of spiritual awakening. A lot of readings I have done, I look into it and I see these women who have had miscarriage after miscarriage and what they're doing is they're taking these spiritual leaps. So it's sort of like a fast tracking, uh, if you can look at it that way. Um, but if you can look at these instances of loss as an agreement between the souls of you and your baby and your partner, your husband, whoever is, is experiencing it with you, your family, um, it's an agreement that you make for particular reasons, which we won't know. We won't really know. We might get a grasp in a couple of years of why this is happening, but we have to trust that this is for our highest evolution and our highest good. And if we can glean these gifts from a miscarriage or stillborn or any sort of loss, if we can glean these gifts, really allow it to open us up instead of shutting us down because those are the choices we have to make here when we're handed something that is life altering something that shatters our dreams we have to grieve we have to mourn it's just part of it we have to we can't bury it or repress it it'll come out in other ways later on but if we can understand that there is a higher purpose for this something our soul needs and something our baby soul needs something that's going to get us get us to where we really want to be and then there can be some peace and comfort in that. Just peace and comfort. So any loss, it's not a punishment. It's not because you didn't do something right. It's not because you don't deserve it or you didn't earn it. None of that stuff uh, applies. It's because this is an agreement. You, you agreed to have this experience together for particular reasons. And there are amazing gifts in it. Even if you can't feel them right away or see them right away, it will unfold. It's just part of the story, you know? If we can look at our lives as a story or a movie, this is just a part of it. And when we can look back at it, we can look back and say, oh, that's why I had that. I can look back at the miscarriages I had and say, wow, not only did it help me um, uh, know how resilient I am, how strong I am, um, and teach me how I can respond to others who are grieving. It helped open the doors to pre-birth communication. It helped me really um, communicate with my spirit baby. It, it opened me up psychically, intuitively. There are the tremendous gifts available here for you if you are willing to say yes to them. So mourn your loss. Absolutely mourn your loss. 
just do your best not to have any guilt. No, no regret. Um, there's nothing you did wrong. The babies want to take away the suffering and let you know that they will be back. They will be back, whether it is an abortion or a miscarriage or a stillborn. Even young babies, I've seen um, readings where very young babies die and then they come back in subsequent pregnancies. So they can come back. They will come back. And they're always with you. They're always with you, guiding you, talking to you. So be very, very open to that while you're going through this difficult time. And actually, really, this is when you really want to pay attention to your dreams. If you've suffered a loss, the babies will come back to tell you, I'm still here. So take that with you. When you have a loss of any sort, it's a heart opener. It's a spiritual catalyst to expand, and there's gifts available for you if you agree to accept them. So that's what the spirit babies want you to know, to look at it in a sort of different way, an expansive way, a way that actually is a benefit to you and them. And you will get everything you want and deserve in the long run if you just open up to it. All right? I'll see you next time.